Master Sun Jian. They're saying that Yuan Chao has issued a call to arms. Yes, I heard the news. This will likely be enough to raise an army to take down Dong Zhuo now. Of course, we'll be joining the fight too. As the tip of the Han spear, we shall return to Luoyang to slay Dong Zhuo and bring an end to his tyranny. It's about time. I've been waiting for this moment. Yes, there has been a lot leading up to this battle. We cannot abandon the fight now. It appears the time has come to demonstrate the might of the Sun family to the land. <laughs> We're going with you, father. This fight's gonna be big, right? You couldn't keep me away if you tried. Father, I also wish to fight by your side. I'm coming too, Father, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Well, he gave you permission. I may be young, but I also wish to do my best to assist the Sun family. This is quite the contingent you've assembled, my lord. Indeed. Everyone, Again, I am honored oh. to have you at my side. Again, said at the Sun Jian, I'll be playing We shall bring the Kuan. full strength of the Sun family to bear in this battle. It is us who will have the honor of claiming Dong Zhuo's head. All right, let's see who can reach Luo Yang first. Hmm. I think Luo Yang is a bit too far for such a race. We will likely need to set up camp somewhere along the way. Yes, but where? If it's too close to Luo Young, Dong Zhuo will know what we're up to. Yet if it's too far, then our men will be tired when they reach the battlefield. I have already studied the matter in great detail. We are best off setting up camp near my castle. I shall make the necessary arrangements. Okay, I'll leave it up to you, Zhou Yu. Now then, let us get going. The tiger's fang shall sink deep into that traitor's neck. Beast came at just the right time. Everybody, follow me. It's time for the hunt. Oh, is it really the?
This should be more than enough for our needs. All right, I'm calling off the hunt. Why did we need to go hunting? Mm. Oh, that low on food, boy. What's wrong, Master Sun Jian? It's nothing. I was just thinking to myself. Cheng Po, how do you feel about the state of the land today? That's a rather sudden question. The Han is in decline and on the verge of collapse. Zhang Jiao appeared and was soon replaced by Dong Zhuo. Even if we remove him too, another will take his place. If that happens, we truly are living in a world of chaos. That begs the question, what is the role of the Sun family in such a world? Mm -hmm. I want people, as well as my own children, to be able to live in a time of peace. What must we do to make that dream a reality? Hmm. If we can make that dream a reality, then I wish to protect the land as the blade of the Han. And if we cannot, I wish to fight in order to create a new world myself. Indeed, I may need to prepare for such an eventuality, no matter what. Likely. I ask you, Cheng Pu, if it comes to that, can I count on you to remain by my side? I will be there at the cost of my life if necessary. Hey, what about us, my lord? We're with you to the very end. Yeah, what he said. Please don't forget me, my lord. Ah, uh, it's good to see you both. Yes, I will be depending on all of you dearly. Did you hear that, Zhao Yu? Yes, we are going to create a new world of our own design. We must consider what it means to bring about such change. <laughs> A new world, thought up by father. Father? <laughs> okay, time to continue on work. Welcome! It's wonderful to see so many here who care about the future of this land. Without the ten eunuchs, whose avarice and egotism brought ruin to the Imperial Court, the Han was supposed to illuminate this land once more! But... Fresh clouds have gathered upon the horizon. Dong Zhuo has taken advantage of the confusion to enter Luoyang and seize control of the Emperor for his own nefarious ends. Dong Zhuo is a poison, slowly killing this land. We must slay him and return the Imperial Court to its rightful place. You have all responded to this call for arms from my noble self. We must restore peace to this war-torn land. I'm honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Liu Bei. My sworn brothers and I have come to rescue the suffering people, subjected to the tyranny of Dong Zhuo's rule. Ah, 
You are with the Volunteer Corps. My name is Soon Jung. It is an honor to meet you. I've heard many tales of the courage of the Sun clan. Together we must slay Dong Zhuo and return peace to the land. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly. Liu Bei, where have I heard that name before? He is known for his deeds with the Volunteer Corps during the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Ah, that's it. The fact that you're here once again must mean you're loyal servants of the Han. No. I'm simply doing what anyone would, to try and help those in trouble. We intend to do what little we can to aid the people in their time of need. Hmm. In their time of need, I see that you fight for a noble purpose. I'm sorry. Have we been introduced? I am Soon Jian's daughter, Soon Xiang Jiang. I accompanied my father to this battle. Is that so? A delicate woman such as yourself? Personally, I think when it comes to righting the wrongs of this world, it doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. Wouldn't mm. you agree? That is oh, true. Forgive my rudeness. You are, of course, correct, my lady. <laughs> There's no need to act so humble. Let's go out there and do what we can for the people, Lord Liu Bei. Brother, it is time for us to be moving. We've got to go and smash that tyrant Dong Zhuo, right? Uh, yes. Yes, of course, my brother. Ladies and gentlemen of the Sun family, you must excuse me. It has been a while. Not since that incident in Luoyang, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I must thank you again for the assistance you gave me. Haha! <laughs> think nothing of it. Like I told you, I was simply repaying the debt I owed you from the campaign against the Yellow Turbans. Although, I must ask, why did you try to assassinate Dong Zhuo? Hmm. Let's just say, I was trying to prepare the world for a better tomorrow. Surely you and your men think the same way? Not in regards to Dong Zhuo, but about a better tomorrow. Forgive me. I suppose this is not the time for such discussions. Please pay my words no heed, brave warriors of Jiandong. Hmm? What is it? Do you have something to say to the noble Yuan Shao, mm. leader of the anti Dong Zhuo coalition? You came to see me for no reason? Have you no respect? Return to your position at once and make preparations to defeat Dong Zhuo. Wow, wow, rude. Listen closely. I will be controlling your provisions in this battle. You're always boasting about being the tiger of Jiangdong, yes? Then you'd better work hard enough to make sure I don't regret the cost of feeding you. Oh, you, 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 you win, you win, you win, being such a... Brave warriors who have gathered under my banner, we will attack Luoyang and slay Dong Zhuo. 